Lesson 17. Questions. Often we ask questions because we wish or want to know something from somebody. Depending on what we want to know or the kind of answer we expect. A statement is a sentence that tells you something. A question is a sentence that asks you something. A statement does not require an answer. A question requires an answer. Compare the given statements with the questions. Statement. Question. A. He has learned to play the violin. A. Has he learned to play the violin? B. Sam was a good friend of yours. B. Was Sam a good friend of yours? C. Lend me your pen. C. Will you lend me your pen? If you compare the statements with the questions, you will note that in each question the verb or a part of it comes before the subject. Sometimes, an appropriate form of the verb do is used, as a helping verb in such questions. Statement question. D. You like classical music. D. Do you like classical music? E. The train arrived on time. E. Did the train arrive on time? F. He goes for a walk every day. F. Does he go for a walk every day? Suitable forms of the verbs be and have may also be used sometimes statement question. G. John is present today. G. Is John present today? H. Roman has a ticket. H. Has Roman a ticket? I. You were absent yesterday. I. Were you absent yesterday? Questions can be of three main kinds. 1. Yes no questions. 2. Tag questions. 3. WH questions. Yes no questions. Questions to which yes or no is expected as an answer are known as yes no questions. Yes no questions can be asked for permission also. Example, J. Can I sit down? Answer, yes, you can. No, you cannot. K. Gita, come in? Answer, yes, Gita, can come in. No, Gita, cannot. L. May we go home now? Answer, yes, you may. No, you may not. It is always considered more polite to say, may I, rather than can I. A written question in English always ends with a question mark. The answers to such questions are usually not just a simple yes or no. The answers contain some words in addition to yes or no. When you ask such questions, you usually expect the answer to be yes, because you are asking a question about something that you know you have to do. Example, M. Must I eat some vegetables? Answer, yes, you must. N. Do I have to do my homework? Answer. Yes, you have to. Tag questions. Very often, we add a shortened form of a yes-no question, or a tag question, to a statement to turn it into a question. A. He has already gone home, hasn't he? Note that, if the verb used in the statement part of the question consists of a helping verb, as in, A. The same helping verb is repeated in the tag. B. He has been lying all the time, hasn't he? Note that, if there are more than one helping verb in the statement, as in, B, only the first helping verb, is repeated in the tag. The meaning of the word tag as used here is something that is added, to something else. If the verb in the statement part is positive, the verb in the tag is usually negative. In, A, and B the verbs in the statements are positive. So, in the tags the verbs have been used with the adverb of negation not, contracted and. On the other hand, if the statement is, negative, the verb in the tag is usually positive, a, he hasn't, gone home, has he, b, you aren't a friend of Ray Jeff's, are you, c, I didn't forget you, did I. There are exceptions to this general rule. To some statements, like one that makes a suggestion, we add a tag containing a positive verb even when the verb statement is positive also. D. Let us go for a walk, shall we? E. Let us have tea now, shall we? W. H. Questions. One of the main ways of asking a question is by using a W. H. word, that is a word beginning with W. H. Such a question is thus known as a W. H. question. W. H. words include why, who, whose, 
whom, where, when, what, which and how. Sometimes, whoever, whatever or wherever is used instead of who, what or where for the sake of emphasis. A. Whoever had seen such a terrible scene, before. B. Whatever is the matter that mother is so upset? C. Wherever did he hear that ridiculous story? The answer to a WH question provides the information that the WH word wants. 1. Who and whom are used in questions about a person's identity? A. Who stole the money? B. Who, whom did the dog bite? C. Who did you speak to? D. To whom did you give the book? Note, how the preposition to has, been used in, C, and, D, with who the preposition is placed at the end of the question, with whom it is usually placed before whom. 2. Whose is used when one wants to know to whom something belongs or with whom it is associated, A, whose book is that. 3. Which is used when someone is asked about a particular thing or person out of many, A. Which is the most interesting book you have ever read? B. Which of the films did you like most? 4. When is used in questions regarding time? A. When will you go to school today? B. When did mother come back from her office? 5. Where is used in questions regarding direction, place or position? A. Where can I find a shop that sells sweets? B. Where was Shakespeare born? 6. Why is used in questions regarding the reason for something? A. Why are you, in such a hurry to home? 7. What can be used to ask for many kinds of information? A. What do you think of the new novel written by him? Opinion. B. What caused the accident? Reason. C. What are you looking for? Object slash purpose. D. What does the word culture mean? Meaning of a word. E. What happened at the meeting? Details of an event. 8. How also can be used to ask for many kinds of information? A. How do you open this box? About the way it can be done. B. How do you feel now after taking the medicine? Feeling. C. How did she look in the new dress? Appearance. How can be used with other words to begin a question? How many? How much? How long, how far, how old, how big, how small and so on. Note, 1. When who or what is used as a subject in a question, the word order is the same as in a statement, that is the subject comes before the verb, a. Who has stolen my book? Statement, someone has stolen my book, b. What happens if he leaves now? Statement, something will happen if he leaves now, 2. When who or what is used as an object in a question, a part of the verb comes before the subject, a, what will do now, what, object, plus will, helping verb, plus you, subject, plus do, main verb, b, who did you talk to in the morning, who, object of to, plus did, helping verb, plus you, subject, plus talk, main verb, 3, formally. When a preposition was required to be used with a question word, the preposition was placed before the question word, A. To whom did you speak this morning? B. On what proof will you rely to prove your inner sense? A. Some statements, answers are given below. Frame questions to match these statements, answers. Two examples are given to help you. The boy is intelligent. Is the boy intelligent? You must polish your shoes. Must I polish my shoes? 1. Sunil has bought a pen. Answer. Has Sunil bought a pen? 2. Yes, you may leave the room. Answer. May I leave the room? 3. No, you cannot go to sleep now. Answer. Can't I go to sleep now? 4. I thought you would have finished painting the picture by now. Have you finished painting the picture yet? 5. Buses run regularly from this place to the station. Answer. Do buses run regularly from this place to the station? 6. Gita came to the show tonight. Answer. Did Gita come to the show tonight? 7. Shyam is ill. Answer. Is Shyam ill? 8. 
They are going to play cricket today. Answer. Are they going to play cricket today? 9. Yes, you must be polite to everybody. Answer. Must I be polite to everybody? 10. It rained last night. Answer. Did it rain last night? B. Add tag questions to turn the given statements into questions. 1. He lives all alone in the house. Answer. He lives all alone in the house, doesn't he? 2. Tarun is an honest man. Answer. Tarun is an honest man, isn't he? 3. He didn't sleep all night. Answer. He didn't sleep all night, did he? 4. Let us go and watch a play. Answer. Let us go and watch a play, shall we? 5. Shakespeare wrote many plays. Answer. Shakespeare wrote many plays, didn't he? 6. Shai Amma is a good dancer. Answer. Shai Amma is a good dancer, isn't she? 7. They are good friends. Answer. They are good friends, aren't they? 8. It rained all night. Answer. It rained all night, didn't it? 9. John plays the violin. Answer. John plays the violin, doesn't he? 10. You will do what is right. Answer. You will do what is right, won't you? C. Turn the following statements into questions as suggested. 1. He will do something. Begin. What? Answer. What will he do? 2. Somebody rang him up. Begin. Who? Answer. Who rang him up? 3. The policeman asked him something. Begin. What? Answer. What did the policeman ask him? 4. The old man lives here. Begin. Where? Answer. Where does the old man live? 5. Somebody's car is parked right in front of our house. Begin. Whose? Answer. Whose car is parked right in front of our house? 6. Raymond had fish for lunch. Begin. What? Answer. What did Raymond have for lunch? 7. His father has been ill for some time. Begin. How long? Answer. How long has his father been ill? 8. He married the daughter of a well-known film star. Begin. Who? Whom? Answer. Who? Whom did he marry? 9. This pen belongs to somebody. Begin. Who? Answer. Who does this pen belong to? 10. This is the most expensive item in the shop. Begin. Which? Answer. Which is the most expensive item?